My family and I play Takapsi Chapi, which is the indigenous form of the game of lacrosse. It's a place that we can come together around prayer, cultural continuity, values, and health. It has such a strong power to heal and nurture so many aspects of our lives. And so it's, it's that thing that centers me and get through what it is to be a working artist. I love being an artist, but it's hard. And I have an amazing support system through that game. I am Lakota Sichango, Lakota German and Welsh, and possibly some other things. <laughs> and so through my work, I really draw directly from the histories of modern abstraction and abstract painting, which is very much a part of the European and European American and Western art. And I am a part of that. And then through the utilization of Lakota art forms and modes of making and traditions and teachings and everything that's embedded in that, I'm a part of that as well. And so combining those is the most honest reflection of my physical being, of being mixed, but it's also the most honest reflection of my life experiences, which have also been mixed. I have a life experience in my younger years having the label, knowing that I was Indian, but not having much context to that. Having experiences through my childhood of it being there, but not knowing really what to do with that information. And then learning and really knowing and understanding who I am and who our family is and how important it is to honor that part of ourselves. And so that history, is such a huge part of our family story that it's very uh, natural that it's a huge part of my artistic expression as well. I think it's extremely important to talk about Native history through my work and to use my work as a platform to have conversations that generally the greater public hasn't been exposed to. It's part of the reason why I think I was searching for my work to be graceful and poetic and poignant because I really like the idea of seducing somebody into the conversation through beauty through something that we can all connect with, something that we all respond to, and then utilizing that as a way to talk about the intersectionality of our histories. Hey! What's up? How goes it? I'm excited. Yeah? How's it going? Good. Are you surviving? <laughs> Barely. <laughs> Jenny Kappelman helped do the beadwork on the blue and white, the stealing horses back. And for this show and the time frame that I had for this show and the amount of beadwork that I wanted to accomplish was the first time I was really faced with the situation of having to acknowledge that I needed help. But man, it's looking really consistent. Everything's looking really good. So nice. Good job. <laughs> We're almost done. So close. Oftentimes, like if you go to a powwow and see all the regalia that people have that are dancing in many, many times, those outfits are crafted by multiple people. And so I started realizing that that's a 
a normal practice within our community already. And so when I started thinking about it in that way, I, I felt much more comfortable with the idea. I decided that I needed to have people working with me that understood the work. I needed to have women that I knew would have the same amount of value and respect to the work that I do. The title of the exhibition is Storied Abstraction. Storied being something that has history to it. It's layered, it's complex, it comes packed with information. It's not just the simple statement of abstraction. So the only other thing that we could try that we haven't done yet is to put the cloud back there and let these two yeah. have that wall. Yeah, you want to try that? Yeah. Todd Bulkley is the owner of the Bulkley Gallery, kind of my number one supporter and partner in this endeavor right now. He really responded to my work and he has been one of the strongest supporters of, of my vision. And he just really believes in the work and he helps me believe in the possibilities of maintaining a sustainable practice. There we go. There's a great number of things that I hope people gain from having an exchange with my work. Because I generally hope that people have a physical reaction with the work first. I feel the strongest about works that, um, that we have a bodily recognition and, and a more physical reaction to first. Because the work is really about building bridges. It's about connectivity. It's about intersectionality. So I hope that people gain inspiration from the works. I hope they gain a greater understanding of Native communities. I hope they gain a greater understanding of the disparities within the way that history is taught. And I hope for Native people, I really hope that they gain an experience where they get to see their own lives reflected. I hope that people gain personal inspiration and conversation that allows them to think about ways that we're connected to one another. Think about ways that we can be better relatives to one another. Mm -hmm.